for the bibliography and argument paper you will argue a specific nuanced position responding to the class's research question using evidence from the class readings and independent library research one possible database to help you select a topic is opposing viewpoints in context from the statewide library page click on a to z resources in the upper right hand column then click on o and select Opposing Viewpoints in Context. Your class has a research question, but you may not know how you want to narrow down your position. For example, let's say your class is exploring how we should regulate cyberspace. If we click on Browse Issues in the toolbar, we might find several topics to focus on. We might choose to focus on topics such as cyberbullying, cybercrime, or cyber predators, as well as other related topics such as digital currency, mobile apps, or Twitter. Let's click on one of these topics. On the topic page, you will find multiple results boxes featuring different types of resources, such as academic journals, reference sources, videos, or news sources. Opinion pieces can be found under Feature Viewpoints or Viewpoints. You can select an article from the list or view all the articles in that category where you'll find multiple points of view on the issue. When you select an article, a blue box will describe the author's credentials and backgrounds to help you analyze the author's perspective and argument. If you find an article you would like to use, click on the Send To button in the toolbar in the upper right corner of the screen. This will let you save the article to your student Google Drive or email the article to yourself. Or you can click the Download button to download a PDF of the article to your computer. The Cite button on the toolbar will help you create a citation in MLA or APA format with a stable URL link back to the article. This concludes the tutorial on using opposing viewpoints and context to research a question. If you have any questions, contact your Ivy Tech library by phone or email, or visit the website and select Ask a Librarian.